Hello, everyone. This is Kerwin, and welcome to an episode of What's Happening in Travel with Kushu and Kerwin. Kushu is not here today. It's just me today. So today's episode, uh, well, my background is Bermuda Air. Bermuda Air is a new airline that uh, just started. This actually came from their website because I don't have any pictures yet of the airplanes and stuff. Uh, but Bermuda Air is a new airline that started in Bermuda this week. Actually, they started selling tickets yesterday. And uh, that's actually the subject of today's uh, podcast. So let's let's just jump right in. So uh, Bermuda Air is a. Uh, they are actually flying out of guess where Bermuda, and uh, their new startup, um, their concept is that they will fly from Bermuda to the United States. One of the cool things about flying from Bermuda, is that Bermuda is what they call a pre-clearance uh, city our country. So what does that mean? It means that when you're departing that country, you clear you clear US immigrations and customs in that country. And the water. No water. Uh, you take um so you clear immigration and customs in that country. It's similar to uh um, there about six countries or some some number like that that have pre-clearance facilities. And one of them is uh, when you come out of uh, Ireland, so if you ever fly out of Dublin and uh, Aruba, then you will get pre you'll get pre-clearance. So when you're leaving those countries, you have to actually give yourself a little more time than normal because you do have to go through US immigration and US customs in that country. It's also the same for Canada. And so you go to a special area of the airport and you're basically in quote unquote, the United States. Once you go through all that, it is US personnel that clears you. These personnel uh, live in those countries, but they're US citizens and they clear you through immigration and customs as you come through. So Bermuda has that. And that's what actually makes this flight, I guess, easier. Because when it comes to the US, it's a domestic flight. You get out of the plane and you continue where you're going. So where are they going to be flying to? Well, they're looking at Fort Lauderdale. Well, not looking at, they're going to fly to Fort Lauderdale, Boston, and White Plains, uh, HPN. Now, White Plains is up in Westchester County, and the easiest way to get from uh, White Plains to uh, New York City is, I think you'd have to take like a, um, some kind of shared ride or a taxi or something like that to the Westchester um, Metro North station. And then you can take the train and the train will get you right into right into um, Grand Central Station and you're in Manhattan. Not sure how long it takes, but that would be how you get out of there. I actually thought we were going to fly into Stewart uh, since now we have, uh, what's the new airline that's flying into Stewart? Um, Atlantic Airways. Yeah, Atlantic Airways just started flying. Um, and I guess that's the other news. So we'll talk about that news in a sec. But uh, Bermuda Air is flying into uh, those two cities uh, that I named. Now, what are they flying? They're flying an Embraer 175. And you're like, really? From Bermuda? And that's what I thought too. I was like, wow. Because uh, it's completely over, over water, right? And, uh, but here's the cool thing about this Embraer 175. It is not just an ordinary Embraer 175. Uh, right now, they for the first few months, they're, uh, because they were trying to get uh, the new seats, uh, but, but I'm jumping ahead. They're going to be flying 88 seats, Embraer 175, but they're only booking 44 of the seats. So you'll, all, you'll have a, a seat next to you empty for the first few months. And then when they're done on November 1, they're going to have only 30 seats. And uh, each uh, each one seat, well, two seats per row, 
and there's an aisle in the middle. So it's one on each side. And so it's these really nice seats, business business class seats. And uh, let me just see. It'll be a one-one configuration. Uh, now, now the thing is, the flight's only like two hours from Bermuda to uh to the U.S. because of how Bermuda, where Bermuda is located. And uh, so it should actually be very cool. And they'll have, you know, Wi-Fi and entertainment system on board, the usual fare. Now, they're partnering with the local companies who's going to provide the food on board. And my guess is that they're going to be double catering. So all the food will come from Bermuda because I was looking at their turn times and their turn times are like, you know, 50 minute turn times. So uh, they must be doing a lot of the catering. And then it's only a two-hour uh, flight on the 175. I'm trying to think of the furthest I've flown in a 175. I mean, I've flown an ERJ 145 from Houston to Palm Springs. And that's a pretty long flight for an ERJ. Uh, but I haven't, I, mean, I don't know what the furthest I've flown in a 175. But that should be good. The cool thing is you can go book your tickets immediately because they started a ticket yesterday. First flight is August 31st. And it's uh, Fly Bermuda, F-L-Y-B-E-R-M-U-D-A-I-R is the website uh, to go to. So go check that out, uh, see what they have to offer. It actually looks, looks pretty cool. Um and the fares are actually cheap now. They have some fares for $199. Those are sale fares. Uh, and I think you can also get fares for $339 when, it, when they're not on sale. But these fares are going to disappear once they have the new fancy seats, which they're calling Al Class. So um, if you want to go check it out, it's like uh, that's a good thing to do. It's been ages since I've been to Bermuda. And... Um, they actually do wear Bermuda shorts in Bermuda, so it's quite interesting. Bermuda is pricey. Um, it's not exactly one of the cheaper places to go, but it's beautiful. And it just sits right out, right out there off the coast of the United States. Uh, and so let me know what you think of this new airline, Bermuda, that just started uh, two days ago. Okay, so uh, let's see. Um, let me make sure. I, I think I did mention that they're going to Boston. Westchester and Fort Lauderdale. I don't think I said Fort Lauderdale. Fort Lauderdale is the other, is the other market that they're going to. Uh, let's move on to the next topic, which is uh, Atlantic Airways. Uh, speaking of airlines that have flown across the Atlantic, Atlantic Airways on, I think it was on the 20th, uh, I remember the 22nd, they started flying from uh, Torsham in the Far Islands Nonstop to Stuart Newberg, uh, which is up in um, New York, upstate New York, uh, not too far upstate New York. And so for that one, they have a specific bus that will that's timed with the flight and it will take you into Manhattan. Uh, so when it comes in, uh, you go right outside and take the bus in. Um, it used to be $20. This is what they used to charge when they had Norwegian. And Norwegian used to fly into Stewart. You would take that bus. It pulls up right outside the Port Authority bus terminal in New York, literally right outside. And you jump in, and in about an hour and a half or so, you uh you get to you get to New York. Yeah, so they're gonna be flying uh into Stewart, Newburgh, and like I said, you 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 take the bus right into New York City and uh, and you know vice versa. The departure flights, uh, the bus is at time of the departure flight, so you can take the bus and come in to leave. They're flying an A320, uh, I think it's a Neo, and they're gonna be, uh, it's kind of, it's, it, the, the Far Islands is actually in, in a neat place because um, you know they go right by Iceland, then they go by Greenland, then they hug the coast and then come over into New York, um, you know, right over northern Canada. So uh, it'll be a nice little flight to come over. I've flown Atlantic Airways, and it'll be interesting to see what their service is like on this um, international flight. I mean, all their flights are international. They are really a, they're a self-governing 
part of Denmark. And so uh, that the own government and everything like that. And, uh, and actually that's one of the tourism attraction. We can go and see all the government buildings, which is very cool. Everything is all red. And uh, so they started flying into New York. Um, it's it's going to be seasonal. It says once a week on a Wednesday, I think it is. And uh, the interesting thing about this is if it works out, then they're going to make it year round. And uh, it's pretty cold in the Far Islands in the winter time. I went in the winter in March. So I don't know if they're going to make it year round because they may not get enough traffic, but that's what they're thinking. Uh, I do want to go back um, before they, they, I think they're scheduled to stop in maybe October. So I probably want to go back before it gets colder uh, up there. And uh, one of my friends actually there right now and she sent some pictures out. So it's actually quite cool. So uh, this podcast is just about those two airlines. That's kind of, that started service to the United States, uh, I guess to the New York area. So if you get a chance, you can check them out. Atlantic Air is, is at atlanticairies.com is their website. So uh, go check them out. Um, it's kind of neat because these are single aisle airplanes. So it's great to fly these single aisle airplanes across the Atlantic. I did fly, I mean, I flew some United slash Continental 757s. Um, but those are actually equipped to do that. They have modifications and stuff uh, to them. And I did also fly Norwegian before they went out of business. I flew them to Cork, I think it was, in Ireland on a 737. And that was actually quite cool. So I think I flew from Cork to the United States on uh, on Norwegian. Had I, I think they were going to do the max. It wasn't the max at the time. It was still the 737-800. But like a day or two later, they started flying the Max. They had a little, you know, late getting all the Max uh, over there. So that was a good flight um, during that. But Norwegian is no longer around. Play is actually the airline that's taken their place. And Play actually flies to Stuart Newburgh. So that's another airline that flies across the Atlantic. I guess small single aisle uh, aircraft, uh, A320 Neo is what they fly. You know, speaking of all that, there are some other airlines that do fly single um, um, single aisle airplane. Uh, a, I just did an article on, on passrider.com and it talks about 10, I think it's like 10 airlines that are, actually it's more than 10, it's like close to 20 that uh, fly across the Atlantic. And um, TAP Portugal actually flies an A321. Uh, Azure Airlines flight is another one that comes through the A321. JetBlue flies the A321. And, uh, um, and that new one I just told you about, Play, flies the A320 Neo, and they go into Stuart. The others go into Boston and because uh, as a matter of fact, um, uh, Azure flies into Bermuda and does Bermuda Boston. So that's a comp competition for uh, Bermuda Air uh, that, uh, that flies across there. So it's actually quite interesting, all these little, um, I guess, New Year lands that are flying. But it's a first, it, the, the Embraer 75 in an all business class is actually the first and so um, I'm excited to hopefully I get a chance to fly that. I'm really excited about that. So that should be interesting. So that's all I got today. Um, I don't think I have any questions from uh, the feedback section, um, but that's all I got. But again, if you have questions, just send them over feedback at passrather.com or uh, you can leave a note on the podcast itself at passrather.com slash W-H-I-T. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. This is Kerwin. Have a great day.